Today's topic is, Curses in PLSQL. What is a cursor? Before knowing about cursor, we have to first understand, what is context area. For processing an SQL statement, Oracle creates a memory area, this memory area, is called context area. Context area contains all the information, needed for processing the statement. Now coming to cursor, a cursor is a pointer to this context area. A cursor holds the rows, returned by a SQL statement. The set of rows the cursor holds, is referred to as the active set. There are two types of cursors. First, is implicit cursors, which are automatically created by Oracle. And the second type, is explicit cursors, which are defined by the programmer. Let's understand the two types of cursors in details. Implicit cursor. Implicit cursors are automatically created by Oracle. Whenever an SQL statement is executed, if no explicit cursor is defined for the statement, programmers can't control the implicit cursors, and the information in it. In PLSQL, the most recent implicit cursor, is referred to as the SQL cursor. Next is explicit cursor. Explicit cursors are defined by the programmer, to get more control over the context area. An explicit cursor is defined, in the declaration section of PLSQL block. It is created on a valid select statement. The syntax of creating explicit cursor, is given below. There are four steps of using an explicit cursor. First step is declaration. In this step, memory is initialized for the cursor. Declaration is done, under the declaration section. Note that, only the first step is done under declaration section, the next three steps, are done under execution section. The second step is open. In this step, memory is allocated for the cursor. The third step is fetch. In this step, the data is retrieved from the cursor, in some variables. The fourth and the last step is close. In this step, the allocated memory is released. The syntax of all the four steps are given on the screen. Attributes of a cursor, there are mainly four attributes of a cursor. First is percent %found. It returns true, if the select statement returns at least one row, or at least one row is affected by insert, update, or delete statement. Otherwise, it returns false. Next is percent not found. It is just opposite of percent found. It returns true, if the select statement doesn't return any row, or, no row is affected by select, update, or delete statement. Otherwise, it returns false. Next is percent is open. It returns true, if the cursor is open, otherwise it returns false. Note that, it always returns false, for implicit cursors, as Oracle closes the SQL cursor, automatically after executing its associated SQL statement. Last one is percent row count. It returns the number of rows affected by insert, update, or delete statement, or the number of rows returned by the select statement. The syntax of using any attribute is given below. Let's see, how to use the cursors and its attributes, through some examples. We will use this employee table, in our examples. In the first example, we will see the use of implicit cursor, and the attributes percent %found and percent %not found.
Let's run the program. First we will give a valid employee ID, as input, which is present in the table. This value will satisfy the first condition, that is, of percent found. So, the output is, delete succeeded. Let's run the program again, this time we will give an employee ID, which is not present in the table. So, this will satisfy the second condition, that is, of percent not found. So, the output is, delete failed, let's go to the next example. In this example, we will see the use of explicit cursor, and the attributes percent is open, and percent row count. This is the output. As the cursor has been opened, so the if statement is satisfied, and hence the output is, cursor is open. Then we have fetched the name and salary from the table, using an exit loop, where we have used percent not found as the exit condition. Inside the loop, we have printed all the data fetched. And at last, we have printed the number of rows, returned by the cursor using percent row count. So the output is, 5 rows has been returned. Hope you have understood the topic discussed. Practice some different types of code, on your own. Thank you.